Coming up, Jonathan and Zach find a really big fish on a wreck in Florida. Some might even call it a Goliath. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. As you probably know, I'm a professional underwater cinematographer. My favorite thing to film is Blue World, because I get to go anywhere I want and film whatever we find. It's a great adventure. But I work on a lot of other projects. I do freelance underwater work for television and movies. I work on giant screen films for IMAX theaters and even special exhibits for museums. If it's underwater, my team and I can film it. And today, Zach and I are on one such assignment. We've come to Florida to attempt to shoot a scene for a client featuring a diver and a Goliath grouper to illustrate how large they are. Yes, we've come here for just one single very important shot. Well, I'm down in beautiful sunny Florida, the Sunshine State, because we heard that there's a wreck called the Caster that has a friendly Goliath grouper. So we're gonna go check it out. We head on down to the Boynton Harbor Marina in Boynton Beach, where we'll be boarding the Loggerhead, a local dive charter boat. We start the day in the traditional scuba diver way, schlepping our gear. My buddy Dave Oakes of Aqua Safari Adventures has organized the shoot and will be modeling in the shots if we can find the grouper. Zach and I have to sign the requisite liability waivers, then we hop on board and start putting our gear together. Soon we leave the dock and make our way offshore. When we reach the wreck, we're barely more than a mile offshore. Zach and I start suiting up. That suit is so cold. We are ready. Ready to dive. First, Dave is going to help us find the grouper and then do his thing as the fish whisperer. We hit the water and start down to the wreck. The MV Caster lies in 110 feet of water. It's a 240 foot long freighter that was seized by the Coast Guard in 1999 because it was carrying 10,000 pounds of cocaine hidden in a shipment of sugar. In 2001, Palm Beach County's Artificial Reef Program sank the ship to create an oasis for marine life. Over the years, hurricanes have broken the ship up a bit, but that doesn't reduce its appeal to the fish. The big stern section stands up high off the bottom, and a couple of Goliath grouper like to hang around. It's easy to see why. The ship looks like a fish condo complex with all kinds of great places to hide both inside and outside. Soon we set out to find a friendly grouper known as Wilbur. Because the ship is at an angle, everything looks a little odd. A crooked staircase. A 
lopsided air intake. The wreck has grown a lovely coral garden. And this, clearly someone's science experiment. No idea what that is. I take a swim down a long hallway looking for Wilbur. No sign of him. I'm starting to get worried that he isn't home. But when I pop out the other end, there he is waiting for us. Wilbur isn't shy. He allows me to swim right up and film him at close range. He isn't even bothered by my bright lights. He knows that divers come to visit the wreck all the time and they won't hurt him. Cue the model. Now it's Dave's job to get in the shot for scale, but he notices something disturbing. Wilbur has a hook and a piece of fishing line in his mouth, and he seems to know that Dave will be able to help. Wilbur allows Dave to cut the line. The hook is in deep, but it will rust and fall out. In the meantime, getting rid of the line will keep Wilbur from getting it tangled in something until the hook comes out. I don't know if Wilbur knows that Dave was trying to help him, but he certainly seems like Dave is his new best friend. Wilbur really likes this one spot of the wreck covered in beautiful orange cup corals. And with the silhouette of the ship in the background, it's just a great shot. This is the kind of cooperative marine life we underwater cinematographers dream about, but rarely get. In fact, I think Wilbur's a better model than Dave. Every once in a while, Wilbur comes over to check me out, too. I'm pretty sure he could eat my entire camera, so I'm keeping a firm grip on it. Finally, Wilbur and Dave both get into a good position, and I have my perfect shot. You can't ask for more than that. That's a wrap. And it's perfect timing because down here at almost 100 feet, we're already into some decompression. So it's time to go. We ascend slowly to our deco stop at 15 feet, where I have 10 minutes of obligated decompression before I can go any shallower. This allows my body to get rid of some of the nitrogen in my blood before I go all the way to the lower pressure at the surface. It's kind of boring just floating here, but at least it's easy. Finally, my dive computer gives me the green light so I can ascend and swim back to the boat. Well, that was fantastic. We found Wilbur, the world's most friendly Goliath grouper, and Dave is like the fish whisperer, and we got a great shot. So it was a wonderful wreck, and it delivered. Being an underwater cinematographer is not always easy. But every once in a while, I get lucky with nice weather, nice water conditions, and cooperative marine life. And when that happens, it truly is a great day in the blue world. Hey everyone, did you know that you now can become a Blue World member? Hit the join button down below and get access to cool perks like custom badges, early access to new videos, your name in the credits, and more.